And now it's time for Southern California Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup, Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher, by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Mesta, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cut Rick Maxo. We're live at El Cajon Ford, Broadway in Maine, and El Cajon. It's a beautiful morning here in beautiful El Cajon, and we have a great show lined up for you today. Katie and Ron from Cedros Island Fishing Charters is here. We've got a great crowd already assembled. Come on out. We've got a ton of prizes and your last chance to qualify for that great trip to Kingfisher Charters, which we're going to give away tomorrow on the show. So you stay tuned. This is Let's Talk Hookup, Southern California Sports fishing voice on the mightier 1090 and the let's talk about app san diego do you need a vehicle that's built ready for your next adventure well your san diego county ford dealers have you covered with the 2021 ford ranger this adventure ready truck is built with durable features like its frame mounted step bumpers and high strength steel frame but that's not all the Ford Ranger also has an available terrain management system with four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance. Looking to tow your boat or trailer to your next adventure? No problem. The 2021 Ford Ranger can handle that too and has smart technology like Bliss with trailer coverage to assist changing land and makes driving so much better when towing your boat or trailer. Visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or buyfordnow.com to learn more. That's buyfordnow.com and they'll be glad to hook you up. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for everyone. Whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a Sport boat. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Boy, what a great day today. We're live at El Cajon Ford here in El Cajon. Going to be an awesome show. And we got perfect weather, great crowd already here. So much good fishing to talk about. Today's going to be a good day. Yeah, it, it certainly is a good day and uh, uh, fantastic here at El Cajon Ford. Broadway and Maine, they have, uh, you know, uh, cars and trucks are hard to come by these days. Well, it but like but, it but it doesn't look like it here. They've got a lot of cars and trucks on the lot here at El Cajon Ford. And they have that uh, Labor Day cellophane going on, too. I, I can't believe that here it is. People, you know, can, uh, can, can actually buy, not only buy a car, Ford car or truck, but they can get incentives back yeah. here at El Cajon Ford this weekend. And, I mean, I'm looking at, if you're a fisherman, I mean, there is truck after truck after truck, and SUV and boat one and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. good opportunity. Uh, all right. Well, hey, um, we're here, and we have uh, uh, at Elko and Ford, uh, we have a couple of great friends here, Katie and Ron from Cedros Island Fishing Charters. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, great to have you. And uh, so, so Cedros Island Fishing Charters, Katie. Um, uh, of course, Jeff was supposed to be here, but he sent Ron in his place, right, Ron? <laughs> hey, look, I have sent no problem guns. helping yeah. Jeff out. <laughs> yeah, Ron Lane, our good buddy. But uh, wh now, why would they send you, Ron? Well, you know, I, I've had the opportunity to go down there twice this year, and pretty much the best fishing I've ever seen. 
Um, and when you can go down and sit on a kayak or go adventure into, you know, little remote areas on a panga, it's like bucket list checks one after another. And That's every awesome. time I wake up in the morning and I go, I wonder what crazy thing's going to happen today. It's you, a really special place. Oh, yeah. man, I'm and, telling you. And, and so, Katie, um, the, the name, it's still Cedro's Kayak Fishing to us, but, um, but, it's also Cedros Island Fishing Charters. Uh, so what, what's, uh, what's going on down there? Why the name change? You know, when I partnered with Jeff to do this, and I was like, well, I don't kayak fish. I don't know anything. He goes, no, we take people ponga fishing. It's actually, you know, small group specialists where people can basically customize what they want to do. So you can come down, and especially now that we added the, the flight on the King Air, that first day we're getting people on the pongas fishing within hours of leaving San Diego. Well, and what's then- that called? That's called bonus fishing. Bonus. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. So I was in a garage dancing around. We got a bonus day. Bonus. So wait a minute. So you're actually flying people down on a private plane out of CBS now? Yes. Yeah. So we partnered with this amazing pilot. He's got this King Air. It gets people from TJ to Cedros Island an hour and 15 minutes. Hour and 15 How cool. minutes. Yes. And, and Ron, I asked him, hey, what would you think? He's like, well, I spoil pretty easily. And I thought that's what everybody, that's what's going to happen happen is you're so spoiled and like he said that this is your bucket list and i'm like if you're going to check this off your bucket list this is the way to do it we get them down there and jeff says the only thing that slows you down getting on the water is dancing in the tackle room excited about it <laughs> pretty much well, pretty and, much. and ron can have a tendency to dance in the tackle room. Yeah. well i've seen him this place makes me so happy because it's so different every time i go yeah it's like some, the island brings you something new and, right. and jeff always talks about that you can't count on it you can sit there and bring certain lures and then you just never know what's going to happen. Yeah. So what happened this time? You were just down there a couple weeks ago, right? Well, I was just telling Ricky, I go, I've never seen yellowtail wallpaper. Wallpaper. The, we yell, what, the followers coming in on a lure yeah. were so thick it looked like wallpaper. Crazy. I'm going, what in the world? I'd call guys in. I'd go, hey, guys, you better get over here. And they're already having too much fun where they are. So <laughs> it was like... It was like, everywhere. It was amazing. Yeah. And, and calicos. It, I mean, it was just everything going on. Yeah. And the calicos, I've never seen them this big. They're big. I think it's the low pressure, maybe the no fishing for a few years. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but the average size has gotten bigger. That's great. Wow. I agree. I agree. That's what I saw, too. I was just, like, blown away at the average size of, of all the fish you were catching. Yeah. So, well, so, so. So now the option is to either fish from a kayak, a Hobie Mirage Drive kayak, by the way, right? Oh, man. I purchased it uh, at Fastlane Kayaks. And, and his boats are so top of the line. You can take a bay tank. You can take the H crate with you, your rod storage, your tackle management, gaffs, everything provided. Yeah. Jeff's always been so big on yeah. every little detail of yeah. everything. The tackle, yeah. the equipment, the I'm place, the facility. glad you said facility. that, Ricky, because uh, that, that yeah. when you go to and, and fish a... When you go to a new place, fish a new place, you want to have equipment that is top of the sure. line or at least as good as yours. And Well, it started as Cedros Tackle because he had a tackle yeah, store right. on Cedros. And then he started Cedros Kayak Fishing. Oh, and by the way, we needed that tackle store this last trip. Oh, did you? <laughs> oh, I had so many lures eaten and taken away, it was a crack up. That's yeah. awesome. So <laughs> you did you produced some business down there. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so now, um, not only kayak fishing, but you also offer uh, f- uh, bonga fishing. Yeah, too, right? yeah, and and because we take these small groups, it's really nice because everyone. Like how got, small is the group? The, the max will take is six. Six. Yeah. And so it's kind of perfect because he can customize even if one group kind of wants to do one thing and another. <clears throat> you know, we don't, you don't have to come down with a group. So we've had some, some people where it's like two guys and then three buddies. And so we can kind of divide them up and you can go fishing with your friends and yeah. um, have the boat to yourself. And Jeff is down there guiding every trip. That's why he's not here today because we had a group that decided they want to come, you know, down this season still. And I had the room. So he's yeah. down there. Um, it's a group from Warbaits. They got oh, down. Okay. Yeah. At, yeah, they got down there at 9.45 yesterday. I think they were on the water by 10.08. They Whoa. launched the first boat. So, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, they're yeah. roping calicos right now. Yeah, I'll bet they Actually, are. they got into the yellowtail right away, too, and I was getting pictures, and, and I was just like, man, can you imagine waking up, and within you know a matter of moments, you're, you're whisk on the ponga and Cedro's catching yellowtail? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one of the cool things is, is Jeff's house that he's 
built up there. Everybody gets their own room, right? Everybody gets their own room, queen bed. Most of them have an attached bath. And it's funny because the guy keep asking, where did you get these beds? That's the most comfortable sleep I've had at night. And I keep thinking, like, why did I ever sleep in a bunk room? This is so nice at the end of the day to go to your own room, quiet, you know, get get refreshed and get ready to fish the next day. It's, It's really... Um, I feel like if you're going to check it off your bucket list, this is the way to do it. I mean, it's just it, everyone says it's like family. It's like you're coming and visiting his house, coming into his family, and you you know are just staying on his pad. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. I always tell guys, hey, this is like you're staying with your crazy Uncle Jeff. Yeah. You know, all he wants to do is fish. Yeah. We, we fish all day long. It started early in the morning. He's we're, we're eating breakfast burritos on the ponga as we're adventuring around to a new place That's to go so cool. slide the kayaks into. And then we come home, and I've tried so oh. hard to make it past 9 o'clock. Just can't. Baja, can't do happen. It. Baja midnight gets Eat you. these beautiful dinners, and then all of a sudden I'm like, my head's bobbing. And then you guys are going, oh, thank God, Ron. Let's just go to bed. <laughs> and it's such an easy place to get to, too. I mean, you, you, are, you feel like you're in another world. You're on the island, the great fishing, the camaraderie, and all that. But it's, like Katie said, it's in... Uh, what do you say, an hour and 15 minutes? You know, you got cell phone reception. If you need it, you can send an email to check on work if you need it. Or, better yet, you can turn everything off and, you know, you leave in the morning. You're fishing by before lunchtime. Well, that's, that's what it's all about. But if it feels like you're worlds away, it's a really, really cool spot. Oh, I love to go down there and unplug. Yeah. So now, um, so what's a trip cost now with the, 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 the flight? I'm sure things went up because of the flight. But uh, is, 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 it, is it more expensive now that you have your own private charter? It, it is. But it's it's all inclusive. So four day is twenty eight hundred. A five day is thirty one hundred. But on that four day, you're getting three days of fishing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So a four day is twenty eight hundred. Twenty eight hundred, and, 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 and that and that and that includes four days of where well, you get that three, the, three days of fishing. Three days, but you get the bonus day. That's including that bonus day because okay. before it was only two days because that oh, first day was all travel and that last day was all travel. And the thing is, is that, um, you know, that first day is included now, you yeah. know. So when you pay that price, that includes the fishing. And, you know, Jeff puts 100 liters of fuel on that boat and he's not afraid to go the distance to, to you know, he'll take you to, you know, far off places and it's it's all included and so yeah. that's one of the things all the food the fishing um, we even put rods down there this year so if you just want to bring your reels and throw them on the rods we have that too or there is a rental tack- tackle package available but nice. a lot of these so, guys and then five it's a five day four night yes five day and four days of four fishing. days of fishing and how much is that one 31 31 so it's only an extra 300 bucks to get an extra day um, the price went up about 500 for the plane, okay. but, but we wrapped the fishing into that yeah. because, you know, so. So you said 2800 for the four day and 3100 for the three day. Yeah. Doing my math, that's $300. Is that my correct? You know what? It doesn't it matter what it costs. It means the four day <laughs> compared go. to the five. Yeah, oh, compared, compared to the five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, not, not so, I thought you meant last year's yeah. pricing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, um, so. Go on an extra day would only cost you an extra three hundred bucks. Yes, to get yes. an extra full extra day of fishing. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And mostly that's because because of the flights, the big cost, right? Yeah. yeah the the plane was pricey. I mean, we we decided we were going to try to do it for next year, but Ron will tell you. I mean, it's the only way to go. And once I sent the first couple groups, I kind of try. I think Chris was on one of my trial groups, you know, and I like sent them down. I'm like, okay, we're going to try this, and it's like there's no other way to do this. You know, it yeah. just matches the level of service that we already provide that we want to be that executive concierge small group we're never expanding we're sure. always going to be catering to these small groups and it's neat because we have like a father son like these 14 year old boys came down and they're running around the house like it's their place and having the time of their yeah, life so then cool. we have construction companies that are you know incentivizing their yeah. their partners and, uh, and with six people you can do that you can put a small yeah. group together it's, yes. like a, it's like a six pack on Cedros. it is <laughs> it is oh, and you get spoiled like on a on one of those long range boats the yeah. food's great your bedroom's great you have this tackle garage that i just absolutely love to go in and get ready you know after you get off the boat the guy's bringing all your gear and you're getting ready for the next day because you know what's going to go so on the cool. next yeah. day it's havoc all day fish 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 and then all of a sudden you get ready and we're sitting in the garage telling stories and it is really an experience that every fisherman needs to do. And I don't understand. I have so many clients that come in and buy kayaks from me, and they'll say, 
hey, you know, I want to I want to get involved in one of those mothership yeah. trips or one of those long. Right. This one is the best kayak. The pinnacle. It is. It is. It's the best by like a lot. Yeah. And these are top of the line kayaks, and the fishing is I've never seen anything like it. So when Ron Lane goes, uh, how do you decide whether you're going the kayak or the panga? It, well, it's easy for me. Because doing both, when you get down on your bonus day, you get to do the ponga. Yeah. You know, you just jump in. You, you literally land your bag in your room, go jump in the ponga in the driveway, and the next thing you know, you're down, backing down the ramp. Wow. So we we were on Yellowtail. Oh, on our last trip, one of the guys, I, one of the guys, his second cast was on a black sea bass. Just two miles from the harbor That's mouth. So cool. and, and this black sea bass was just one of those littler ones, and it yeah. was just gorgeous. We ate that sucker the next night. Yeah. I, oh, I didn't bad. know how good black sea bass oh, was. It's delicious. It's going to be harder to let those go over yeah. in La Jolla now. Yeah. Well, and you can legally take them in Mexico. So. Yeah. 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 Well, so. that was the only reason. Yeah. 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 But, we, but we are really conservative, though. I know sometimes people wonder about that, but we're all about conservation on the island. So even though it's legal, we'll keep one per, yeah. per day. One small one. Yeah, yeah. we really try to um, preserve there. And so, yeah. um, but That's people good. do take their fish home. We, we include all the processing, too. So uh, all these guys are bringing back, you know, beautiful yellowtail fillets and yeah. um, even some Is of that. Is there a limit on how much you can bring back? Or? We just try to be conservative and ask everybody to keep it around 20 pounds. You okay. know, um, it's a lot of fillets. It, it is a lot. I don't think I've actually seen someone bring that much back. But, you know, um, one, weight on the plane. Even though there's no weight charges, you do want to keep the weight on the plane reasonable so it's sure. in the air. <laughs> yeah. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you today. A lot to talk about here with Sedros Island Fishing Charters, Sedros Kayak Fishing, all the, all the stuff. Ron Lane's here, Fast Lane Kayak. And talking Hobie kayaks. You have any Hobie kayaks, by the way? Yeah, I do now. You got hey, it. We got a, we got a big old we got a big old ship. And I was Whoa. I was sweating yesterday though, unloading. You got them, huh? <laughs> oh, we yeah. we heavily impacted the trash bin. No, no links yet. Soon, soon. Yeah, soon but you got Mar- you got uh, uh, you've got Outbacks. Outbacks. Oh, I, d- wow. I delivered like My five favorite. of them yesterday. Nice. Wow, nice. And and here at El Cajon Ford. They've got cars and trucks. Know, We're looking at them right here, and they're dealing this weekend because it's late. Kayaks would fit right in the back of those. Right yeah. in the back of that Throw truck. The back look at of that, that Super Duty right yeah, there. Yeah, look at that. And uh, having a great time and giving away some great prizes. Got a great crowd here. So Yeah, today's going to be a down. great day. Exactly. It's a really fun spot and a great time to join us. And so much you know, so much time left in the show that we'd love to have you come down. Broadway and Maine and El Cajon is where we're at here at El Cajon Ford. Giving away a ton of great stuff, like Pete said, including for every person that steps up to the microphone today, they're going to be El eligible to win a brand new pair of Maui Jim sunglasses. This is a really cool prize too. We've got to do a couple of these. Not you're not just going to get a pair of them. You're going to get a gift card that's good for any non-prescription pair of Maui Jims. You can even customize them with a My Maui feature and what that means is if you really like the the local kind frame but you want it in that new red Hawaii lava lens that Pete has or you want it in a different mirror or a combination that's not normal to the rack. And you these can, have readers in them too. You can customize yeah, them. You can put the readers in them, the Maui Maui, yeah. Yeah, it's a really cool thing. So, again, every person that steps up to the mic today is going to get an opportunity to win those. We're going to draw the big winner at the end of the show. Good for any pair. We're also doing the Shimano casting contest right now. Some killer prizes for that, too, including a brand new Anza Filet knife. We're going to have a Seaguar floral carbon package. It has a gold label, premier, pink label, really, really killer prize pack of Seaguar floral carbon for another lucky winner, um, as well as a full day trip on board the San Diego. So, some killer prizes is there. Plus, the winner of that casting contest is going to qualify for one of the eight grand prizes that will be drawn tomorrow. So how exciting about you, that. Why uh, don't you talk about those grand prizes right now? Just uh, There's the list of grand prizes, and we put them all together, and, you know, product's not easy to get these days. No, no it's so, not, but there's some really, really yeah. cool ones. So, uh, Part of this grand prize package that we're doing, uh, again, eight big winners. Uh, we're going to include a $500 shopping spree to AFCO.com. No limits, no anything. You jump on the website, $500 shopping spree coming your way. We're also doing, a, a, just like we said before, gift card for any non-prescription pair of Maui Jim sunglasses. And you're going to get one of those custom-made Anza fillet knives. We're going to be doing two of those package. Again, gift card, any non-prescription pair of Maui Jims and an Anza fillet knife. How about a Tranks 400? 
Yeah. Mm. Accompanying that brand new Trinx 400, again, a handmade Anza filet knife. Nice. That's another package. We're doing a two-speed reel from Shimano, a brand new Speedmaster 12. And since you're going to get a Speedmaster 12, you got to go use it. So we're also going to throw in a full day trip on board the San Diego. Very cool prize pack. Talking over 500 bucks there. Uh, a Shimano Speedmaster 16, also with a full day trip on board the San Diego. Next up, your very own charter on board the Blackjack, out of Dana Landing in Mission Bay. Your own trip, full day yeah. uh, trip uh, on the Blackjack for uh, you and uh, three of your buds. And then last but certainly not least, the big grand prize is a trip for one to King. Fisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska that's good for any available trip in 2022. Yeah. All this is going to be given away tomorrow on Let's Talk Hookup, and today is the last chance. We're going to take two qualifiers, one from the casting contest, one from the random draw. So this is your last chance to get in on that. Yeah, it's great. I mean, literally just for coming down, hanging out, talking some fishing, maybe having some... Uh donuts from the cowboy down there you're going to get a shot at winning a bunch of great prizes that we're going to be raffling off during all the breaks and you might know you might get the lucky draw winner you might be the casting contest winner and you might get one of those killer eight prizes there, there it's going to be a great show and we just want to see you again come on down join us here at broadway in maine and el cajon for el cajon ford or give us a call this morning we'd love to hear from you 213-432-1090 again 213-432-1090 that's the number here to let's talk hookup or shoot us a text. The text the show option. It's only available through the Let's Talk Hookup app, which is a free download. Great way to listen to the show. Great way to participate with the show. And when you have the app, you can shoot us a text. We're going to be reading a bunch of those texts throughout the show today, too. So lots of great fun going on with Katie and Ron. We're going to be talking Cedros, and we're talking to you when we come back. we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. This is Let's Talk Hookup on that Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090. If you are going fishing on your trailer boat, make some of gasoline your first stop. Easy in and out with your trailer with almost two acres at the San Diego Sports Arena parking lot. Summit has what you need. Gourmet coffee, beer, ice, bait, fishing license, discount San Diego and Mission Bay live bait certificates, and the lowest price on gas. For a limited time, tell me you heard this, and you will get 100 pounds of ice free with the minimum of 35-gallon purchase. You heard right, 100 pounds of ice free. There is no better place to get your gas and load up on everything you need than Summit Gasoline at the Sports Arena. Easy access to Dana or Shelter Island launch ramp. Summit caters to boats and trailers. Try them once and you'll be back. Live bait certificates at a discount, beer, coffee, food, ice, and the lowest gas prices. It's your first stop before fishing. 100 pounds of ice free with a minimum purchase. Summit Gasoline. Easy in and out with your boat and trailer and more at the San Diego Sports Arena. Hayden Lane here from Fast Lane Kayaking, and I gotta tell you about all the rad new stuff we have in the shop. Like the fully updated new line of Hobie Inflatable Kayaks, the iTrek series. Hobie took the best selling i11S and made it even better, then added new models like it, like the new iTrek 9 that weighs just 37 pounds, fully rigged, packs into a small bag with wheels, and fits just about anywhere. And on the water, this thing performs featuring a super wide and flat hole shape that is stable and an elevated beach chair style seat that is comfortable. Or the all new Hobie Mirage Lynx. Inspired by the shape of the inflatable kayaks, Hobie made a durable and ultralight hard top model. It's the missing link. It looks like a hybrid of a stand-up paddleboard and a kayak. And the best part, at just 45 pounds, the hole weighs about half as much as similar sized kayaks. And it's stackable. Pile them up on your roof rack or your truck bed. You gotta see this thing. Stop by the shop right on the water in Dana Landing Marina in Mission Bay. Or check us out online at fastlanekayaking.com. When you want to catch big bluefin tuna, you need Shimano. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. The Shimano Beastmaster is the pinnacle of electric reels. Shimano's Gigamax motor packs a winding strength up to 250 pounds, ideal for kite fishing and more. Shimano's butterfly flat fall jigs are irresistible to bluefin tuna because they stay in the strike zone longer. Shimano makes a complete line of butterfly flat fall jigs to target your favorite game fit. For all your Shimano needs, visit us at Fisherman's Landing 
landing tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet. Fisherman's Landing offers half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day trips on the Liberty. Many trips can be easily booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. It's a fact of life in Southern California. Hard water. And if you have a pool, your towel shows it. Here comes San Diego Pool Towel Cleaning to the rescue. With their specialized equipment, SD Pool Towel Cleaning can safely remove the stubborn calcium deposits most pool owners struggle with. SD Pool Towel Cleaning can make your tile look bright and clean, almost like new again. High pressure pool maintenance cleaning can damage grout, stone, and dislodge tiles. San Diego Pool Tile Cleaning uses a low pressure medium blasting technique to protect your pool surface from damage and yield fantastic results. So stop making excuses for your stain tiles on your pool. Make them look like new again with San Diego Pool Tile Cleaning. Check their website at sdpooltilecleaning.com and let their professional staff rejuvenate your pool tile. When it comes to a professional swimming pool tile cleaning service, there is only one name you can trust, San Diego Pool Tile Cleaning. Catch sdpooltilecleaning.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. We're live at El Cajon Ford, having a great time here this morning, talking Cedros Island fishing charters, and hopefully talking to you, man. Going to be a great show. Again, if you want to get in on the fun, give us a call at 213-432-1090. Hey, um, we had our Let's Talk Hookup Gamakatsu sponsor, Day and a Half on the Searcher this week. What timing. Oh, Perfect man. weather. Yeah. And, uh, giant ones biting. Giant one, Yeah, giant ones biting. They were out on the Tanner Bank, and they had quite the trip. And I got a little note from Bob. Uh, everybody on the boat got Gamakatsu hooks, including the new twos and fours. Nice. That they just, the uh, Nautilus twos and fours, which just came out. Uh, but uh, so he gave away a lot of uh, great stuff. I talked to Cat Mark Taylor. He says it was a really good trip. But they hooked, I guess, the first night they were there, they left, and they got there at 4 a.m., <clears throat> and they hooked. Like 16 and got four. In the dark. In the dark, yeah. <laughs> uh, in the dark, before the day even yeah. started. And then... Um, yeah, which basically, I mean, you know, that, that's their yeah. their travel day. Yeah. You know. And, and, and uh, <clears throat> flat falls, knife jigs, that, that kind of stuff. Uh, and they all weighed from 120 to 150 pounds, Ooh. the ones they caught. And then when the sun came up, they were pretty much wide open on 15 to 20 pound, tw- 15 to 25 pound yellowtail Perfect. and 25 to 40 pound bluefin. Um, oh, cool. But they they were in the shallow, so the land to hook up ratio was very very low. And of course, they had giant rockfish on the tanner and stuff like that too. But um, and then they used the kite and flyer. Uh, this, but this is a report from Bob Blum, yeah, yeah. who was uh, hosting it. And the final count, um, and, and they caught some on the kite and the flyer, but a lot of casualties. Um, and they had fish between 180 and 200 pounds. But the final count was nine yellowtail, 25 bluefin. Of half of which were over 100, and four were over 200. Nice. And so, what a great trip. Yeah, so they had a lot of casualties, but what a trip. I mean, you're talking about action. Yeah. <laughs> and want to thank uh, uh, Art Taylor, Captain Art Taylor on the searcher, <clears throat> uh, for his great his great uh, boat. And uh, Art and Celia just doing a fantastic job. And um Really a, a, a great operation. And Gamakatsu, thanks to Gamakate, Gamakatsu and Rick Gamakatsu for supplying hooks and doing all that. So yeah. really a, a, a first-class operation. First-class operation on the searchers. So, yeah, those lucky people were on there. Of course, pretty next cool. up on our Let's Talk Hookup trips is the Liberty two-day trip, which will uh, that's coming up here in a couple of weeks. And then we have another one in October. So a lot, a lot of good Let's Talk Hookup Gamakatsu-sponsored trips coming up. I just still can't think about that. I mean, hooking 16 of those 200-pound class fish from 4 a.m. until the sun comes yeah, they, up. Yeah, I mean, they left. Is that a couple-hour window? They left window? at 4 o'clock yeah, in the exactly. afternoon and got there at the, at the bank. Yeah. Crazy. So pretty wild. What a cool trip. Wayne from CCA is here. Good morning, Wayne. Good morning, guys. How are you all doing today? What's great, up, great to see you, Wayne. And and how uh, how are the, is how is the battle going? Because there, there's some pretty, oh, man. pretty big battles. It's right a now. struggle this year, guys. It is a struggle. We got so many things hitting us, and and, and I don't know if everybody realizes. Everybody needs to hear this about our sport boat fleet. It is in trouble right now. Yes. The regulation or the proposed regulations coming at us from the CARB group, which is the California Air Resource Board. 
not only affects our big sport boats, but it affects our six-pack boats that also run diesel motors. Yes. And the re- regulation that they're going to try to put down is, is so bad that they can't meet it because the, the engines aren't there yet. They, they, don't exist. they don't exist. So how are you supposed to repower to something that does not exist? Yeah. So they basically want to put the entire sport fishing fleet out of business. That's kind of Pretty the way it is. it is. Now, yeah. this kind of ties back to another problem that we have that we've been talking about for a couple of years, which is that 30 by 30 movement. Remember, we beat the legislation last year, but then the executive order came down from the governor. Well, we're right in the middle of that fight right now with all of the agencies, like uh, our natural resource agencies. Now, I am say fight. We're trying to work with them because we are reasonable people. We are fishermen that believe in conservation of our resources, but we also believe in access to our resources. And that is the rub right now. It's not about the conservation or the biodiversity. It's about the access part. Why are we being the enemy on take when we have all of these fishing regulations that protect biodiversity, protect our ecosystems. And remember, guys, we're the ones who pay for most of that right. through our licensing fees, our excise taxes, and all of the other fees and permits that we need do and pay for every right. day. Right. We're the ones doing it, along with our commercial friends. But we the, want the fish. It's a resource that's natural, and it belongs to us as citizens of the state and, and the United States. So why are we getting access to it? Yeah, it's ridiculous. That's, but the big hit right now is you need to go, if you haven't already, how many have gone to savefishing.com and signed the petition? How many have gone to say, okay, I, next time I want to see everybody's hand because we have to do this. Savefishing.com. It literally takes 20 seconds to sign that petition. And this is coming up at the end of the, in the middle of the month, actually. It's uh, coming up to the, the, the whole carb vote where they could basically put every sport fishing boat out of business. So, And understand this. That's round one. There is a proposal that has already been talked about coming after recreational fleet to have zero emission standard. Kind of like what they're trying to do with our cars. Right. Again, the technology does not exist Doesn't yet. Exist, right. So we have to be able to at least have enough time to come up with the technology to be able to turn over to a cleaner emission standard if that's the goal. But it has to catch up, right? right? You can't do the cart before the horse. What they're trying to propose now is to force the industry to come up with the technology. Yeah. And what they say, their, 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 their justification is, well, people that go on sport fishing boats will just have to pay double or triple the price, and they can afford it. That's such BS. It's just... It just it goes against it's everything just, that we're trying to do, just, too. Yeah. The 30 by 30 movement right now that we're trying to work with them on, yeah. one of the parts of that is about access to our resources. Yeah. Okay, well, but, you don't have the sport boat fleet. How do you get on the ocean right, for the majority right. of the public? And, and, and you that own yachts and, and boats, you're next. That's because right. it's yeah, not totally. only the, the com- commercial sport fishing boats, it's the, it's the yachts they're going to go after, too. Eventually, so if, you have, if, you have, if you have a nice, a nice boat, forget it. It's going to be junk. So uh, we need to go to savefishing.com. Sign that petition and stay in this fight. It's, 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 it's critical here for the next couple of weeks. Very, very critical. Now, what about these wind farm things? What's that all about? Yeah, so I've been talking about this for, what, almost six years yeah. about the wind farm issue. It's in the central north coast all the way up to Washington, Oregon. And what they're proposing originally was about 100 wind farms off the coast of uh, between uh, Monterey and Morro Bay. And it was floating platforms 26 miles offshore. Well, now this thing is morphed and has become uh, a bigger issue because now they're going to try to put some off of Vandenberg. There's proposals off of Morro Bay still. And now it could be closer to a thousand wind farm platforms off the coast of California. And how does that affect fishing? It'll be restricted fishing areas as far you as can't we can go, tell. You can't go near that. Well, that that's, remains to be seen because if they're floating platforms in 26 to 3,200 feet of water, I don't think they're going to allow us around it. I mean, it's not like it's going to be a fixed post like they have everywhere else in the world and fixed posts kind of like your, your oil derricks, right, where they're staying in the water and you can you can move or maneuver. If they're floating in the pla- out there in the ocean, they're going to be moving around. I do not know how they would allow us around them. Sure, yeah. And there's going to be transmission lines in the water, so those are going to possibly get caught, and you're yeah. not going to want they're not going to want you fishing around those. Yeah. But they true. will become fishing attractions. 
attractants. Think about it. That's a kelp patty out there right yeah, now. But right? you can't go fish there. No. Nope. And then the yeah. electronic electricity lines will be attractants. Yeah. So that's an issue. All right. So now let's bring up Chris, who's uh, the event. Oh, one last thing. Okay. Uh, just so everybody knows, this is uh, California Free Fishing Day. Make sure all right. you guys all get your friends out there. Enjoy our favorite Take sport fishing. fishing. Today. Today. Yeah, no all license right. today. No license today. All right. Thanks, Wayne, for all that, and thanks for all your hard work, Wayne. We appreciate it. Let's give him a big hand because this guy yes, works we his do. tail off. And here's another guy that works his tail off right here, Chris from uh, CCA. And, Chris, you are the events man today, right? Uh, that's what they tell a, me. A lot of events. Now, because of COVID, all, all these events have been kind of squinched into here the, the fall season, and there's uh, a lot of big CCA events coming up. Right? Give us yeah, this. exactly. You and I were just talking to compete. Basically, because of the whole first six months of this year, all of our events is squished in the, la- the latter part of the year. So we got a whole bunch of events starting next weekend up in Santa Barbara. We're going to have our Santa Barbara chapter banquet at the Palm Park Beach House off Cabrillo Boulevard. That sounds really great. Yeah, it's going to be an end of summer celebration. Really looking forward to that. That's not to be missed if you're up in that area. Shortly after that, two weeks later, September 25th, we've got Coastal Social again. Uh, we're bringing it down to San Diego. We're going to be at Dana Landing. Uh, fishing is lines in 6 a.m., 6 a. lines out 2 p.m. Wayne's going to be at 3 at Dana. going to be super, super fun. We're going to have a little awards banquet um, right in between Fast Lane and uh, Dana Landing. All right. So it's going to be really, really cool. That's going to be fun, huh, Ron? Yeah, maybe. Coastal Social right in front of your shop. I'm in. Yeah. 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 I was actually just with Matt Florentino uh, yesterday putting all the final details together. Really looking forward to that one. And then, like we didn't need anything else, we got banquet season. Banquet season in October. It's going to be a really busy month for us, starting with the Inland Empire. We're going to have Oktoberfest at Okuma up in Ontario. That's going to nice. be, uh, yeah, it's going to, we're going to be in their parking lot. They actually, the Okuma folks, like, you know, I got to give it to them. They've been really stepping up to the plate uh, hosting us over there. And then secondly, we've got our crawfish boil. We're bringing that back, but up in Channel Islands this time, uh, over on October 16th at the Channel Islands Yacht Club. Um, that's going to be super, super fun. And then lastly, one of our big events of the year, that's going to be our golf tournament. First ever golf tournament for CCA California. That's going to be October 29th at the Costa Mesa Country Club. Our team up in Orange County, led by Robbie Gant, a good friend of ours. Um, he's really, really working hard. His whole team is working hard to put on a great event up there. So definitely uh, check into that. Registration actually for that just opened up uh, September 1st. So still plenty of room to be to, to go. Still plenty of foursomes available. So if you guys golf at all or have anyone or feel like you can golf, uh, definitely come it's out It's a for scramble, that. too, so it's a, f- a fun format, so you don't even need to know how to golf. It, exactly. A scramble format. You just need format. to have somebody on your team that knows how to golf. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> and you're good. Yeah. It's the epitome of team sports, that's for sure. Yeah. You, uh, yeah. My dad, we're, we're pretty good uh, a scramble, comp- I guess, competitors. I got the drive. He's got the short game, so we're Perfect. a good team. You know? All right. That yeah. sounds great. So you'll be the one to target. Well, I'm going yeah. to drink, <laughs> drink and beer and drive in a golf cart yeah. around, so like, yeah. being between the three of us, that we works. should be in good shape. Yeah. yeah. That, too. So that too. Uh, all this information. Is it uh, of the CCA website, which is what? Correct. CCACalifornia.org. CCACalifornia.org. Right yep. Right, right on the homepage. You just click on the event flyer, and then it'll take you right to right to the info page. Busy time. Thanks, Chris. Really busy. Thanks for all your hard work. Awesome. Give Chris a big hand. Yeah, Come awesome. on. Thanks, yeah. Chris. All right. Well, one more thing. One okay. quick Jeff story, if, if there's time. Uh, I was one of the, the groups that uh, – well, the first groups on that private plane – I kid you not, when I got a chance to be on the ground when uh, Jeff, when the fir- plane first landed, he was literally jumping up and down, screaming like a little kid. <laughs> that's cool. And I was on the plane taking off, same reaction, same same reaction. Well, that's so, what's so cool about Jeff is that he puts his heart and soul into this whole operation, right, Katie? You know. Y- y- yes, and, and this was his dream and vision from the start, and, you know, just to be able to – to have this to offer the people, you know, when he talks about building the house, I love when he says when he was digging trenches, he was thinking about who would come and who are the people. And he was thinking That's about cool. the future and like who was going to get to enjoy this with him. And I just that passion is very um, palatable and and addictive. I have it, too, now. And Ron, I mean, yeah, just, Ron's got it too. <laughs> you just get upset. Yeah, that wasn't hard to catch. <laughs> Well, hey, let's jump into the phones, Sarah, and we have a lot of people want to step up the mic, so let's start with phones. You got it, buddy. Why don't we start off with Huey? Huey's calling us from Catalina this morning. What's up, Huey? Welcome to the show. Hey, good morning to you guys. Just wanted to um, call in to tell you how much we appreciate your show and how much uh, valuable information we pulled off it. 
um, for Thanks. all our trips. Oh, that's nice to see. Well, thank you. How, how's you know, Catalina? And, uh, yeah. So it's a um, pretty awesome day today over here, light breeze. Um, over here on my 22nd anniversary, wedding anniversary with my wife. And 20 hey, nights mackerel. We're going to go. We're going to go sling down off the ridge here in a little bit. But um, <laughs> moreover, you guys have a great show, and, and we really love it a lot, and you guys are awesome. Hey, sure appreciate cool. that. Thanks for calling us, Huey, from Catalina. Enjoy your stay over there. Must be hardly anybody at Catalina this yeah, weekend. Yeah, sure. Right? That's weekend, like wide yeah. open, right? Yeah, crickets. <laughs> hey, John Gleaves is here from San Diego. John, it's your turn to step up to the mic. Thanks for coming down to El Cajon Ford. We sure appreciate you, all of you. Or This is our final San Diego County Ford Dealers remote. Now, our next remote is going to be down at Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing right. in uh, November 6th, I believe. Yeah, first Saturday yeah, in November. First Saturday in November. So that will be our next live remote. Is uh, down at Tackle Day at, and you're at right Fisherman's on the Landing. Yeah. Good morning, John. Hey, John. Good morning, guys. Hey, mine is wondering if you've seen any places that show how all the different jigs, the actions on them, like, you know, all the new ones that come out, SK, this, that, but some video that shows them as they're actually moving through the water. You know, yeah, interestingly enough, there is on the seafalcon.com website, the Sea Falcon Lures, they actually have. Really cool diagrams that show the actions of the jigs as they're falling, uh, falling down. So you can pick the, the action that you're looking for, and 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 actually see like a graphic of that. Not a video necessarily, but a graphic. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for coming down. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk hookup coming your way, including more of your phone calls. we got catch reports coming up with the cast man and a whole lot more. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup, Southern California's sport fishing voice on the Mightier 1090. This is Rock Cod Rick for Adventure and Camping, where they bring the adventure to you. If you enjoy camping in the eastern Sierra but don't own an RV or a trailer or simply don't want the hassle, let Adventure and Camping park it for you. It's simple. Check out their website, adventureincamping.com. Select from over 75 campgrounds they serve. Decide on a trailer floor plan that fits your needs. Request a quote for your desired vacation dates. Then just show up and start your adventure. Dallas and I did exactly that, and it was incredible. We chose a beautiful mammoth area campground. Adventure and Camping delivered the trailer to our spot. We showed up, enjoyed a clean, spacious trailer without any of the hassle. When it's time to go home, we just closed the door and drove away. It doesn't get any easier. If you enjoy camping in the Eastern Sierra but don't want the hassle, Adventure in Camping is for you. Check out adventureincamping.com for details. Make sure to mention Rock Cod Rick sent you for a special 20% off offer, but this special won't last long, so go to adventureincamping.com today. Time to talk about great gear from Shimano. We're talking about Sidro's calico fishing and there's uh, or yellowtail fishing. Yeah. Nothing better than taking a trench. Well, I can chime in. I was going to say I can chime in on Katie's behalf because I know that's the real she uses also, there's not yeah. been a reel made better for Cedros Island than the Tranks. You got easy castability, great calico bass reel, but then when you hook the fish that you shouldn't have hooked, you've got the power to bring it home. Yeah, and then what about a Terramar rod, man? You match that with a Terramar rod, like the, the new two-piece Terramar. Uh, and Pretty cool for travel, right? Oh, boy, perfect to take down there because you could take a 10-foot rod right. that becomes like a 5-foot rod. Uh-huh. So it's it's perfect. So the Tranks Terramar combo, nothing can beat it. Get it at your local Shimano dealer. Hey, anglers. AFCO Pro Captain Ben Florentino of Coastal Charters here. As a full-time guide, I'm on the water all year long. It's my livelihood. Having the right clothing is of the utmost importance staying warm, dry, cool, and comfortable to endure whatever the Pacific wants to throw at me. Thankfully, I'm equipped with AFCO clothing to keep me dialed season after season. Do yourself a favor and check out AFCO's award-winning gear at a dealer near you or learn more at AFCO.com. Don't give up on finicky fish and light bites. The secret to getting more bites is thinner leader for more natural presentations. That's where Seaguar Gold Label Leader Material shines. It's Seaguar's thinnest leader material yet. 18% thinner and 17% stronger than any other Seaguar leader. That means it's even less visible underwater and creates more natural presentations for better catch rates on leader shy fish. With exceptional knot and tensile strength, this advanced leader material has been proven all season long on finicky tuna as big as 100 pounds on 40 pound tests. Get Seaguar Gold Label at your favorite 
Sabre Tackle Dealer or learn more at Seaguard.com. The state of the art long range sport fishing vessel, the Independence, delivers the top quality comfort and fishability you look for in a long range boat. Veteran captains Mark Pisano and Paul Strasser built this incredible 112 foot vessel with the most modern technology and luxurious comfort available. Once you go on the Independence, you'll be back. Call Independence Sports Fishing at 619 226 6006 or check Independence Sport Fishing. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. We're live at El Cajon Ford having a great time here talking fishing this morning. And, man, this is just a great day and a great crowd. Yeah, great crowd. And and, and what a number of cars. They have the Celathon going on this weekend. With You can save thousands of dollars on cars and trucks. And they have cars here and trucks in stock. So you want to get something, maybe not the pick of the litter, but, I mean, they've got something you probably need right hey, here at El Cajon Ford. I'm, from where we're sitting, I'm seeing a bunch of Rangers, F-150, Super Duties. Yeah. they got that. Mustang Roush right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, would be just fine. I could handle Ron a little bit look, of that action. Ron would look good in that, huh? Oh, Cruising no. down the street. Surfboards Come won't on, fit in it. I like that truck <laughs> right there. <laughs> what do you mean you could put a rack on that? Uh, For sure. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, the, uh, you can text the show. You can call the show. But better yet, come on down and join us here at El Cajon Ford. A lot of fun and a lot of great prizes still going to give away. And uh, let's find out what's biting in the Baja, Rick. You got it, buddy. It's time for the catch port with the cast man, Richard Castaneda from Cast Tours. Hey, great news. Gamakatsu Nautilus Circle Hooks are now available, as Pete had mentioned, uh, in that size 2 and 4. They are such the perfect size for those finicky bluefin. From the Nautilus Lite, the regular Nautilus, or the new Nautilus HD, having the ability to choose the right circle hook and the right gauge of wire with Gamakatsu Nautilus, now you've got the choice uh, to have the finest hooks ever made. Stock up on Gamakatsu Nautilus Hooks at selected tackle stores. Let's head to the Baja with the cast man. Buenos dias, cast man. Hey, buenos dias, Ricky, Pedro. Guys, man. Hey, man. Listen, uh, sitting here in Florence, looking over the bay here, and uh, having a cup of coffee, listening to the show, and uh, just saw a nice king salmon caught right in front of the house here. And uh, I'm telling you, it's starting to happen up here. Yeah, it's starting to happen. And uh, going to get out uh, probably Wednesday uh, with our good friend Gary Vodder and uh, hopefully get into him. And, of course, we'll throw some crab pots and get some Dungeness crab, which has really been good here in the Bay. But uh, moving down to the Baja, Loretto, you know, we're coming into fall now, and uh, you can actually see it coming down there because the Dorado bite is starting to really drop off. Those fish are going to start moving down south. Uh, and But the yellowtail fishing has been very good there. Uh, they're going up towards San Bruno, up to Popito, and uh, they get some nice, nice yellowtail. Oh, 20, 25-pound fish. And, uh, you know, coming on uh, live mackerel and also on the uh, on the iron. Uh, so uh, some really good fishing going on there for yellowtail. And we move down to La Paz. Both out of the bay and out of uh, Muertos Bay. Uh, Muertos Bay, they've been fishing around Saravo Island. Uh, they've had a few wahoo uh, there at Roca Montana uh, coming in there. Also, you know, still plenty of roosters around, you know, around the Las Arenas Lighthouse there. Uh, they're getting still getting some good roosters, not the real big ones anymore, but they're getting some, you know, 20 to 30 pounders. Um and a few Dorado. And like I said, it uh, seems like that as we get into that fall, the Dorado are moving further south. Um, go down to San Jose, Lo Cabo. I got a great report from Baja Bob uh, Lewis there from uh, La Playita. Um, so the tuna bite is definitely on now. We're, they're in some solid tuna. All of the banks there, just around the corner of Punta Gordo, right up into the Sea of Cortez there. Quick run from the marina there. Uh, getting some nice. 20, 30, 40, 50 pound fish. And uh, uh, yesterday afternoon, uh, he sent me another uh, email that uh, they had uh, one fish that came in about 130 and then one almost 200. So some nice, nice tuna. And they're definitely into the tuna season now. And uh, look for those wahoo now to start coming in. I'd say probably uh, next week or two, you'll start seeing that wahoo count come alive. And of course, we've got our Annual Wahoo Rumble, uh, November 7th to 11 down in San Jose, and that's always a really good time for Wahoo. And of course, we get the get into the tuna and the Dorado. Um, for you marlin guys, um, still plenty of marlin, right? Uh, marlin around, uh, striped marlin, blue marlin, and a few black marlin caught uh, this past week. So, some really good fishing. It's starting, like I say, get into that fall down there at San Jose, the Cabo area. 
it gets incredible, some incredible fishery down there. But uh, that's the report for this week, Pete. I'll talk to you boys next Saturday. And anybody who wants to book a trip down to uh, our destinations in southern Baja, mainland Mexico, and uh, Central America, etc., give us a call at Cast Tours at 800-593-6510 or on the web at www.casttours.com. And I'll talk to you boys next Saturday. All right, good luck on the salmon and crab fishing, cast man. We'll talk to you next Saturday. Appreciate that report very much. Now, uh, uh, we have a great text come through, huh? Yeah, 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 this was a fun one. This was from Mark and La Quinta. I said, uh, good morning. I got one comment for Katie and then a question for Ron. I can't say enough about how much I enjoyed our trip in July with my father-in-law, Terry and Chris, and his group. Uh, can't wait to see you next year. Sounds like he's already booked. Uh, and then the question for Ron was, I have an I-11. I heard that uh, the steering system can be upgraded similar to the links. Oh, we've got them. That's a, that's the most amazing thing Hobie did when they when they came out with the new inflatables. They had this new rudder on them, and the rudder steers better, and it takes care of all those tubings that are welded and made onto the boat, so that when you fold it up, you're not bending those tubes. So the nice. rudder works better. I, I mean, it, like probably better longevity, like everything. Everything, yeah. and it, oh, it makes it a smaller package when you roll it up because the tubing's not in there. So we have those kits. They're very inexpensive. Just come down to the store. We can we, we call it a little surgery, a little tuck here and there. And you can and get it done. Get it done quick. Those yeah. guys cool. are like mad scientists, man. You know, it's so funny, too, because I was out using the boats, and I came in, and I had all of the guys there. And I, I said, uh, hey, I need to get 100 of these kits. <laughs> and they thought I was, like, you know, kidding or something. And so I knew they were having a meeting the next day, and I called, and I said, you know, guys, I... When I ordered that hundred, I don't know, and uh, they thought I was going to make it. Le- I yeah. said, I think we need two hundred. I talked to Callan. <laughs> Callan thinks we need two hundred, and they go- so they start get. I'm starting to get them now, and cool. uh, we've been um, upgrading i11s, and you won't believe the difference. Ah, that's awesome. That's cool. That's a great question. Well, I, hey, not many people know about that. Well, hey, that. Matt from La Mesa is here. Matt, thanks for coming down. He's sporting that new uh, mossy oak. Uh, Reaper from AFCO, man, that's a good. I, you must be sweating by now. No, it's, it's not too bad. Yeah, but it's it, going to get warm. warm. Oh, it's it's warm. Say. Yeah. So my question to you is, uh, when it comes to storing fish on your kayak, can you create a small like slush bin? Yeah. Uh, in in the fish box there, or oh, just, it's or really easy to create one. You open up the Hobie catalog, and there's this beautiful bag made by um, Reliable. Mm-hmm. It fits right on the bows. Uh, Kevin Nakata, I loaned him one. He went out and fished La Jolla on a photo shoot, and he caught a nice yellowtail in the morning while it was all foggy and stuff, and they wanted to stay out longer to try to recreate that magic for the photo shoot. Well, they were out 10 hours on a summer day, and there was still ice, 10-pound bag of ice in it, still icy. That one yellowtail was just perfect. Perfect. But he didn't get another one that day, and that's ah, rare for Kevin. That I mean, is rare for Kevin. Kevin. You see samurai. And so all of a sudden, after Kevin had such a successful day, that, that reliable bag ended up in the Hobie catalog. So, yeah, they're available, and they're wonderful. And they have four different sizes. Fit At, just for the boats. I mean, fit right on yeah. pro angler. Like most, they're, they're ang- fit most all of they're them. They're angled to the shape of the boat itself. I mean, they were built just for that reason. So well, that's, that's cool because I know, like on, like, on the Parkers, you guys create those slush bins with the Yeti coolers. Yeah, and stuff and, like that with the with the block ice. Well, and, and also salt. reliable makes all those bags yeah, that everybody no, those has. Those things are amazing. And you know, we'll, we'll leave things. fish overnight on Pete's boat with yeah. a reliable bag, oh, yeah. and it just amazes to me that how there's so much last? ice left in yeah. there. So, Katie, um, how do you how do you That's do fish question. on the kayak down at Cedro? That made me think of that. So basically, our our captains are out there, basically really close to the kayakers, and we kind of keep everybody. You catch a fish, everyone's got a radio, and you radio over and they come put it in our our reliable bag that's full of ice wow. so they'll come so, around and so you don't have to fish. carry one on the ponga the the, the ponga or on the kayak the ponga takes care of your fish for you yeah Oops, they can. I got, can, can i just add, add to that story i was fishing with johnny ceviche and he's on this fish and he's whining like a baby it was great I, <laughs> johnny's the most he's an incredible fisherman he caught a little mackerel pinned it on 
and he caught a fish that weighed two pounds less than him. <laughs> How cool is it that? It was 108 pound fish, and he weighs 110 pounds oh, wet. What That's kind awesome. of fish is that? Big old black sea black bass. Sea bass. Wow. I was in awe when they pulled it out of the water. I was just laughing. Wow! It was the biggest thing I've ever seen on caught on a kayak because I wasn't there for Jeff's world, world record. record. Yeah. yeah, but this was a slog. And that's so he called cool. them. They got it right there. Johnny wanted to put it on the kayak. That's funny. And the guys go, I don't think so, John. Yeah. <laughs> but going back to what Katie says, so there's a tender basically with you the entire time you're in a kayak. So not just not just convenient, safety, fish, extra, whatever it may be, there's somebody with you, the whole, you know, at least standing by and, the whole and time. And you have a radio. Everyone's got a, a radio on their kayak, and and like Ron said, you can, Jeff will call you in. Like he's kind of fishing around, he'll be like, "You guys got to get over here." But like Ron said, usually everybody's kind of on fish and stuff. But he's out there guiding each trip, you know, really putting you guys in the right area. That's cool. Too, and and what I love is there's never anybody around us. Like, like he's got this fish sense where if everybody's going to the right, he's going to go to the left, and he's yeah. going to put you on fish every time. It's That's cool. it's pretty amazing. Yeah, he's. Got yeah, a, he's got the he's, he's got, got the, the island dialed yeah. in, yeah. And, cool. and, it, and, and it, it's not just to go left, just to go left. You know, some guys do that, and they go right into nowhere. Jeff goes into areas that nobody fishes, and it's epic fishing. I've had the last two trips, the August twentieth trip and the and the June twenty first trip. I have never seen fishing that good. That's cool. calicos are bigger. I don't know how they got bigger, but they got but they bigger. Did, huh? The average size is amazing. Wow. Hey, Matt, thanks for coming down to Elko and Ford. Appreciate that very much. Thank you much. All right. Roy from San Diego's next up. Roy? There's Roy. He's uh, hanging out by the F-150 Super Duty, right? There. Or is that a, that's an F-250 or 150? Yeah, Super Duty. Yeah, Super Duty. Yeah. Nice. Hello, good What's morning, up, guys. Good morning. Ron, Katie, nice to see you. Hi. Um, question actually is for Katie. Um, next year, my wife was thinking about going somewhere. She said, maybe we'll try that uh, Cedrus thing you were talking about. Um, for someone who may not really fish a lot, which would be my wife, what would, was there anything for her to do? I just had a phone call from um, exact same thing. And what I told her is this is the kind of place that is uh, novice friendly. And I told her, like, if you want to come down and, and kind of do your husband's bucket list with you, I encouraged her to get on the boat. Because I think people sometimes that don't fish think it's going to be like sitting at the lake all day and not catching anything. But you can really go down there and and be a novice. And even yeah, I got in the kayak for the first time. I mean, you can go and have this experience. And so I would encourage Lenny to to go um, have have the experience with you because it she could become your your best fishing partner after experiencing this so. and, and you can fish calm waters on the front side of the island right. oh, you don't really. have to worry about you know rough water uh, you could probably maybe arrange that if you she gets tired take them back to the harbor and she'll totally. go hang out in town something like that no, it's, it's pretty it's, custom it's, it's pretty custom and, yeah. and the house in itself like i told her too like if you wanted to stay in for the day like it's very comfortable like yeah. i will sit on the couch and read a book and at night i sit by the fire and have a glass of wine like it's so comfortable and relaxing and and like ron said, i like to go off the grid i shut everything off and i just you know it's a great um thing you know to just go and relax in that house yeah. it feels like you're home it's a great place to do nothing you know that's a really nice island and it's mellow and the sunset and the weather's so temperate it's just it's a yeah it's perfect all right all Thank right you. thanks a lot for coming down to elko and ford all right hey let's uh when we keep when we come back we got a lot more let's talk hookup coming your way more of your stand-up microphones more questions more text you stay tuned it's let's talk hookup on the let's talk hookup app and the mightier 1090 Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. You know, the ranch is unique. It's one of the few places in the world where you can still drive ATVs up the beach. We have fishing from the beach. We have dive trips that we run to Pomo in a number of different spots. Kayaking, of course, has been real big. We were one of the first hotels to introduce kayaking. The ranch is small, you know, it's intimate, it's 34 rooms, so everyone gets to know everyone. The old saying, where everyone knows your name. Well, truly at Ranch Lanero, the employees do know pretty darn near all our guests' names. And what's even more interesting is most of the guests know each other's names. Very personal, very intimate, and a special, special environment. Two, two miles of beachfront, a mile on either side of the hotel. Ranch Lanero is really the last of the old-style Baja fishing resorts. one 800 646 
1-800-646-BAHA. And RanchoLanero.com. I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. Gotta love California in the summer. Just remember, COVID is still with us. So if you're going to the water, plan ahead. Follow local public health guidelines and make sure everyone wears a life jacket. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. This is the wheel Southern California saltwater anglers have been waiting for. The new Shimano Torium 40 HG. From casting wahoo bombs while long-range fishing, fishing local tuna or rockfish, the new Shimano Torium 40 HG should be part of your arsenal. With more capacity, more power, and an amazing 31 pounds of drag with Shimano's carbon drag system, nothing rivals this addition to the Torium lineup. Captain Ben Florentino of Coast Coastal Charters says Shimano engineered Torium for the way we fish on the West Coast. With casting gear on and conventional tackle, Torium's power and fishability are rooted in its body. A rigid, all-metal Hagane body encases Torium, delivering both stiffness and impact resistance. Angler's actions are transformed directly into cranking power. Torium's S-compact body design makes it easier for anglers to control hooked fish in critical situations. The new Shimano Torium 40 HD is now available at your local Local Shimano dealer. Grab yours today. San Diego. Do you need a vehicle that's built ready for your next adventure? Well, your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered with the 2021 Ford Ranger. This adventure-ready truck is built with durable features like its frame-mounted step bumpers and high-strength steel frame. But that's not all. The Ford Ranger also has an available terrain management system with four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance. Looking to tow your boat or trailer to your next adventure? No problem. The 2021 Ford Ranger can handle that too and has smart technology like Bliss with trailer coverage to assist changing lanes and makes driving so much better when towing your boat or trailer. Visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or buyfordnow.com to learn more. That's buyfordnow.com and they'll be glad to hook you up. Great fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polaris Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth, Sea Watch, and San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. For charters or schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay.